hi, Rob here today. And today we're going to put a uh, Bluetooth operated on off valve in our watering system for our beds and front yard. I put a water system in for the front yard. The water comes from under the house, under the concrete, and comes out to here. We had two on off valves. This is for the drip system in this planter box. And then this here is the on off for the uh, sprinkler system on the yard. But what we decided to do is put an inline timer in. So I'm going to cut the pipe and uh, install this. And then this, this is Bluetooth, so we can operate it with my cell phone and set a watering schedule and whatnot. Okay, I've got the pipe cut out. It was previously in here, because that's where the valve, where this valve's gonna go, like so. And I've already got the fitting connected here on the top of the, or the bottom of the pipe. It's gonna screw into the top of my valve. And then on the bottom, I have a uh, fitting here. I'm just gonna wrap some Teflon tape around, screw this on, and then I can slide this over and then screw this to the fitting here. But I need to wait for the uh, glue to dry a few hours before I connect everything together. Okay, I've got my DIG Bluetooth hosed in timer all installed, connected between the uh, PVC and the PEX coming from the house. So now it's time to put the app on the phone and uh, learn how to program this thing. Here's my completed installation, but it didn't work. What happens is I installed it backwards. This is the incoming water, but if you'll note, there's a threaded part here on the valve. That's the part that was normally uh, threaded onto the hose bib, but I had put mine in upside down. Even the directions talk about the threaded part is a timer inlet and the other part is a timer outlet. Well, if you notice, I had mine upside down. What happened is I didn't read the directions and in the upside down position, the text on the device was the right direction. But in my case, the proper installation, the text would be upside down. So I just I didn't follow directions and put it in wrong. Here's the correct installation with the device installed so you get the proper flow, water coming in to the threaded part, and then it goes downstream and feeds my uh, planter box and my lawn sprinklers. Next up was to download the app. It's the DIGBTT app from the Apple Store or the Google Store. I think that stands for DIG Bluetooth Timer, and it's pretty easy to operate. Here's the home screen, mine set up weekly, every day of the week, 7 a.m. turn on for four minutes. Or if you select the manual run, it's uh, mine set up for a five minute manual run if I turn it on with the app. Or you can push the button on the uh, device itself and it will do a manual run. So either way, through the app or through the device. Pretty neat. Well, that's it. Good luck to you if you choose to install one. And my advice to you is follow the directions unlike I did not and you'll save yourself a few hours or days in getting your system up and operating. To view more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.